next for legal in New South Wales by the end of next week. The controversial homosexual reform legislation is now to go before the council and is expected to be passed. We've heard the arguments for and against the new law, but what about its effects? What sort of an impact will it have amongst Sydney's homosexuals? Last night, as the debate was raging in the parliament, Ron Sinclair, our reporter, went to town to talk to Sydney's gays. Given that sex between males in New South Wales has been illegal up until now, Sydney's gay community, it might be thought, are claiming a major victory. If you're male and 18 or over, what you do sexually from now on in private is your own business. In the unchallenged gay capital, here in Sydney last night was expected to be a night of celebration, and for many it was. But, according to some, attending this leather night at the Newtown Hotel, Neville Rand's private member's bill still leaves gays with fewer rights than their heterosexual fellow men. Can I ask you how the new legislation is going to change your life, if at all? I don't think it will change it, apart from what I'm doing now, but I do think within myself I will feel uh, able to face the community without doing something underhand. You're still being prejudiced, though. You're still not able to have any consent at 16, like heterosexuals. Do you think that that's a, a problem? I think that's unfair. That's discrimination. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just logical. If somebody at 16 is able to make up his mind about what he wants to do, I think it could be fair for all of us. Over to you. What's it like being a gay in a heterosexual society here? Well, I mean, but Sydney, it's not really that much of a problem if you're a part of the actual gay community, but I'm sure that it must be a lot of problems for positive gay people and people in the suburbs, so... Do you think the new legislation is going to make life easier for you if sex well, at least is legal now? Not really. Um, so, I mean, it just means that I'm less likely to get or have to worry about being caught for consensual acts. But it's not going to change your sex life? I don't think so, no. So what happens behind four walls is still going to be it's the same? It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. People have been doing this for years. You know, it doesn't matter if the law has changed or not. So it's not going to bring people out of the closet or anything like that, you don't think? Yeah. It's not going to make a hell of a difference, really. You don't think it'll make any difference? No sign on the street it that the city changed. It'll make it easier for young gays. I mean, the law that has been has not got people <laughs> making love at a good time. So is sex going to become more liberal? Is it going to make your sex more liberal? Well, no, I shouldn't have thought so. I don't think it'll have any change. No, I think my sex life is my pleasure. Is yeah. your... You're telling me about your sex life, not telling me about mine. The distinct lack of reaction, in public at least, seems to indicate that Sydney's gays don't regard this new legislation as the dawn of a new period of liberation. I guess that that means that the predictions of National Party leader Leon Punch that the new legislation undermines the very fabric of our society will have to be put to the test sometime in the future. As the debate continued inside Parliament, an anti-gay demonstration maintained throughout the day outside had dwindled to this. One person gender male you appear to be the last of the protesters here what uh, what have you got against the new legislation uh, well it's uh, it's Im it's immoral and uh, it's uh, unhealthy and they get to, uh, have diseases they get diseases from from uh, sodomy but you're are you gay no some might say what's it got to do with you uh, well I'm sticking up for, for God in his church it's in the Bible, in several verses, that it is wrong. Why has it taken so long for gays just to be able to have sex legally? Uh, I think partly it's the cowardice of Neville Rand and made the Conservatives for the New South Wales Parliament. The Premier's introduced the whole thing as a private yeah, member's bill. Eight years after he got into power. Do you think I'm it's going to Do you think the legislation is going to change your life in any way at all? Uh, probably not, uh, but it is going to change. I'm out, uh, but it's going to change the, uh, the uh, lifestyle of a lot of other gay men who feel an incredible amount of pressure uh, because what they do is criminal. And it's, it's all, it's, you know, it can only make things better for everybody. Ron Sinclair with that report.